Hey what's up everybody, Kim here with today's Rock Band DLC review. In this video we're looking at Stranglehold by Ted Nugent. And sorry, but my postponed by Catfish and the Bottleman review will be, well, postponed. Because it still isn't uploaded on Xbox Live, and I won't have time to do it tomorrow. So it will be next week sometime. But is this 1975 classic rock single anything to play? Let's find out. The drum shall start with a 12 measure weight, and after it you get some cymbal hits and double snare hits, before the main beat of this chart begins. The main beat is an 8 hit beat on a hi-hat, with some okay pedaling, but this is mainly what you get in the chart. There is some fills coming here and there, which consist mainly of snare rolls. There is one beat on the right cymbal, that changes up the beat for a short time in the first guitar solo, but other than that it's just a hi-hat beat. There is also a bridge with some same slow snare rolling coming late in the song, but for me this shot was a little bit too repetitive, especially since the song is over 8 minutes long. I give the drum shot a 5.5 out of 10. The bass shot also starts with a 12 measure weight, and after which you get the riff that you will play for most of this song. Granted it's a pretty fun riff. It's a mix of single note changes, short sustains, as well as single note and chord hammer-ons. This riff was pretty tough for me, since I haven't played a lot of guitar the last month, and I had to take a lot of breaks because my fingers got really tired. But I know that better players will love this riff, just be aware that it's pretty much the riff you get, although it sometimes gives you some subtle changes. The other riff you get is in the snare roll bridge of the drum shard, where it gets drumming on the green note and short sustains on the red. You also get a bass solo at the beginning of the chart, which got some fun sing changes and hammer-ons, and I don't think you will fail in his solo, because it's not super long. With the repetitive but fun riff, I give the bass shot a 6.5 out of 10. The guitar shot on the other hand isn't repetitive at all, but you need to be good to enjoy it on Expert. It starts with a mix of alt and normal strumming on singing notes and chords. The chart got some real hard alt strumming sections, luckily they are rare and doesn't last long when they come. The chart also got 3 guitar solos, which the first got some real tough hammer-ons mixed in with scene loads and chords. The second one is a bit shorter and simpler, with scene load changes and some semi long sustains. The third one is pretty long, and by far the chillest. Some of the solo is just breaks and sustains, while the older sections got some scene load changes, hammer-ons and even some chords and alt strumming. This shot does have some more boring sections though. There's some long and measured breaks, a 7 measure break towards the end, and some long sustains. Other than that, this shot is pretty fun, and like stated before, not repetitive at all. I give the guitar shot a 7.5 out of 10. Okay, so putting aside what I personally think about Ted Nugent as a person, Stranglehold is pretty fun to play in this game but repetitive on drums and bass. The guitar shot does have some more boring sections, just that the rest of the shot is pretty damn fun. I give Stranglehold by Ted Nugent a total score of a very good 6.5 out of 10. But that's all for today's review. If you did enjoy the video, then make sure to like and subscribe for more reviews in the future. Tell us your thoughts of this DLC single in the comments, and check out some of our other videos here. Thank you as always for your continued support, and see you next time in the next video.